I said I was going to show you guys um, my cart that I had gotten set up from a um, craftsman that I found on Marketplace. Well, this is my car. And for reference, um, this is how tall I am next to it. So essentially, and I gotta get a microphone so you guys can hear me better. Essentially, this is how I look. Ugh. Let me unlock it. This is basically how I will look serving your delicious drinks. And don't mind everything that's on top. Um, I pretty much am hoarding some stuff that I'm buying as I go along to decorate my cart. So I'm gonna turn the cart around, kind of do a 360. So um, this cart is pretty tall, it's taller than average. It's definitely um, taller than a regular countertop, like in a basic kitchen, which would be like around, I think something around like 30 inches tall. Um, but I think this is 36 inches tall. And then with the, the, the two in, two and a half, three inch wheels, it makes, I'm sorry, no, those are four inch wheels. It makes it so much better. Um, because I need the height. Ergonomics is very important to me. Um, so I want to make sure that I'm as comfortable as possible when I'm working. So this is pretty, I'd rather be up than down straining my back downwards. I'd rather be working upwards. Um, so I'll get to put everything on top of here. Um, so let me turn the cart around so you guys can see. And excuse me, this is my garage. So, I mean, it's not going to be the prettiest thing. But this is what the cart looks like inside. I'm not going to put any shelving in there. Um, only because I'm going to just store my bins in there with like my cups, lids, um, extra syrups and stuff to restock, all that will be, all that will come as I go along. So I'm not going to put any shelving in. Plus shelving in it is just going to make, um, the, the process more difficult. So, and by the way, this is like able to be broken down fully. So there's one piece, the middle piece, side piece there, this piece here. And then the whole bottom is one piece. So there's five pieces. One, two, three, four, five. There's five pieces total. Um, if I'm with someone, like my husband and I um, put this together from taking it out of the trunk of my Jeep and we like put it in the house. And with us both, it was like a minute and a half only because it's the first time we ever put it together. But if you're like a one person show or whatever have you, like I don't see why you can't get the cart set up completely like in I don't know five to ten minutes after you put all the pieces down um and that's even generous so here's a cart it's a very very big cart it is not your average cart um for reference <laughs> this is a huge cart um the video is probably not going to do it any justice but it's very big there's a hole in the bottom that the craftsman cut out that way I can put my, I'm sure you can see it, I can put my cords in there. There's another hole adjacent to that right up here on top. So I can flow my cords through, um, my water line, everything like that can, can go where it needs to go, be plugged in where it needs to be plugged in. Um, so yeah, it's unfinished. Um, I got some polyurethane and some paint and all kinds of other crap that Got some black paint here I got from Home Depot. I'm actually gonna be painting this whole entire cart black. Then I'm gonna coat it in um, some very, very, very glossy polyurethane um, just to give it that finish and so that things don't spill into the plywood. Um, because we all know espresso can um, definitely stain some stuff, especially when it comes to wood and everything. So I wanna put a nice glossy coat. I can't do epoxy because I'm allergic to resin. So that's not an option. Um, so yeah, this is it. I He actually cut a hole out for a knockbox. So I have a knockbox here and I'll show you guys everything up close and personal. 
but the hole was perfect. I got this knock box from Amazon. I just put it right in there. Um, right now I'm not doing a pitcher rinser for those who are familiar with what that is. I won't be doing it now because I don't want to have to deal with all those water lines and teeing everything off. Like it's just too much for me to do, especially because I might have to do some shows by myself. Um, well, a lot of shows by myself. So yeah, let me show you guys up close and personal what the cart looks like. Okay, so this is the cart. It's not really much to look at right now, but you can see that the pitcher rinser is in the counter. Um, I did do a little test run. <laughs> I was trying to see how much this metal, thin metal pan could withstand. So my pitcher rinser is cut out. Um, sorry, that's a personal plant. But then I have a painting set that I got from, uh, I believe, Lowe's or Home Depot. And then I have our sign that just came in. So I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see because I was so excited. It just came in yesterday. That's actually going to go back here on my garage wall because I'm going to be making a grass, like a whole grass um, aesthetic wall with the neon sign so that I can film content. Um, so yeah, just trying to give a better social media experience for you guys. So let me flip this around and show you guys what it looks like lit up. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys this neon sign that I got from Amazon. I will put the link in the description box. This thing is huge. It came super fast. Like this came from overseas. I bought it from Amazon. It came overseas and it came in like four. No, no, no. It came in like five days, right? But I ordered something from Cali that's taken two weeks and it's already shipped. I don't know how that works. But anyway, um, so far, so good. I keep testing it out just to make sure. Even though it's not going on the cart, I mean, aesthetically, it would it would be it would be great on the cart. But I just don't want to deal with um this burning out my electricity and generator and everything. I don't want to use too much um I don't want to have to need too much power while I'm out. My espresso machine and grinder, um, water pumps and everything, that's already going to need power, enough power as it is. So anyway, I'm going to keep this on the grass back, on the grass wall back there. The panels are coming in. They're due to be delivered soon. So as soon as that gets here, I'm going to set it up. I'm getting ready to start painting this right now. I think I'm going to just do... Um, cause I'm going to take it apart. So I'm going to just do one of the pieces of plywood, um, just to see how I like that black shade. Cause they had a bunch of shades and I will report back when the project's finished. Peace.